group of South Korean grannies bring life back to small town through Rap Sunny and the Seven Princesses, a group of South Korean octogenarian rappers have hit it big in their hometown and beyond by rapping about farm life. Chilgik, South Korea A group of South Korean octogenarian rappers have hit it big in their hometown and beyond. Rapping about farm life and bringing energy to a quiet rural area threatened by a population slum. Sunny and the Seven Princesses have become local celebrities since debuting in a community center in August last year in Chilgik County an area in North Gyeongsang province more than four hours drive from capital city Seoul. It feels like I'm getting younger. Even if I'm old, I'm excited, said Park Jum Sun, 81. Leader of the group and known as Sunny, of a recent performance in a kindergarten. After initially gaining a modest fan club of 150 people, the group's fame spread beyond their own county. They have been asked to perform in local towns and appear on TV shows, and their videos have garnered more than 77,000 views on YouTube. Their success comes just as South Korea is expected to become a super-aging society as early as next year, with a fifth of its population above the age of 65. Rural areas like Chilgik have the greatest risk of fading into irrelevance as young people move away to the cities and fewer of them have children.